Hey, Sean here. So some new game-changing AI controls have just been released called GAN. Is it gonna be a good video solution or really just more of a photo solution? Let's dive in and have a look. So this demo has been going viral on Twitter and basically it just shows added control to AI. This to me is what's been missing from AI is just the ability to control things to, like obviously there's some level of control if you know stable diffusion and Python and all the scripting and you can get close to the results you want. But this, as you can tell, this is a whole new level. So if you drag the part you want to change, GAN will manipulate it instantly. If you watch my other video about AI on Olufemi, I actually talk about how the lack of control with AI is frustrating because AI does what it thinks you want, but the transition from frame to frame is just choppy and artifacty and sometimes just plain janky. And you still see that here. Like here, I'm gonna change the cat's eyes, but the entire cat design changes as well as the background. You see the background's changing as we change the horse. This woman stays pretty consistent. That was cool. Same with this picture of a map, whatever the heck that is. So they're dragging our shirt down. The car design changes here. It goes from, it looks like an actual car into a pickup truck. So that's, sometimes this stuff's just a little deceptive. It's like, whoa, I can control it now. But what use is that if the whole car design is changing? When you have something like a lion, this is really cool. I mean, I don't see a lot of change here. And here you can actually isolate what you're changing, but the background's still changing. So I almost feel like that part's a little, like pretty misleading. And again, the whole, the style, the type of dog, you know, the snout's getting longer. Also, is it really reacting that fast? Because as you've seen from any other AI technology, like it takes a while to generate. So I don't know if I believe this part that it's going to change as soon as you're dragging things. But regardless, this is bringing controls that will just make the whole process a lot easier for imagery. But my my concerns for video and I think there are certain applications where this will be incredible like explosions we've seen the AI does amazing explosions with this you can control how it's exploding and like what direction maybe they're the crossfading images the way that they blend into each other it won't be as noticeable I still don't see us using this in a practical way like the only practical way I've seen is where they've added this painting brush stroke effect and they've actually used that now in a commercial with stable diffusion to make every frame look like it's a painting because you can have something look glitchy and finicky like that because of course if you were to paint every frame that's just how it would look. The Verge did a little write-up so let's see it's like Photoshop's warp tool but far more powerful you're not just smashing pixel around but using AI to regenerate the underlying object you can even rotate images as if they were 3D that's cool. The latest example is only a research paper for now but a very impressive one letting users simply drag and drop elements not only can you change the dimensions of a car or manipulate a smile into a frown with a simple click and drag but you can rotate a picture subject as if it were a 3D model changing the direction someone is facing for example one demo even shows the user adjusting the reflections on a lake in the height of a mountain range with a few clicks. So as we've already seen with the car, like in rotating, it changes from one vehicle to another. So I just, if it can do that, but it doesn't do that. How could I use that practically in a video? Like car is changing. See what I mean? It's just kind of silly. Take a look at this leg demo. Interesting, interesting. But yeah, when you have a generic kind of like a line, like to me, most lines look the same. So the idea is there. But again, you see the hair's kind of like sticking around. I mean, this isn't going to replace the technology they used in the Lion King. As a photo application, this is going to be super handy, but I still am just not convinced about the video implications of this. These videos come from the research team's homepage, though this has been crashing due to the amount of traffic. Can I go to the homepage? What a homepage. Here's a good use case of how it doesn't work well. It's Joe Biden. Now let's shake his smile and change it, and it does not look like Joe Biden anymore. That is a completely different person now. This is just a tech demo for now. Impossible to evaluate the tech completely. How realistic are the end images, for example? It's hard to say based on the low res videos available. Reminds me of Bigfoot. But image manipulation is now more accessible. Everyone's losing their minds about GAN, but I still think it's a step away from what we need. And it's really just using the existing technology that's there and adding levels of control. But that's what we're gonna see is more control. The problem with text prompts is like communication can only get you so far. And then you need these little controls to really get what you want. So it may Makes it look like we're getting better video control, but you still have the problems with AI. I think for video, that threshold that we haven't completely pushed through, but for images, this is gonna be game-changing for sure. But anyways, that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.